Hey, you guys. Y'all have to excuse me. Today is my two weeks on Atkins, and y'all know that I can incorporate some some um, certain things into my diet. Y'all know I've been waiting for these sometimes these for about a week, so I'm going to be eating these in this video. I'm going to tell you right now, so you can get mad, happy, sad, whatever. I'm going to be eating my sunflower seeds. Now, with that being said, I'm sitting here watching a movie, right? Okay, so I'm sitting here watching a movie with Daddy. And I wanted to do this video because I've gotten a lot of messages. And I haven't really gotten any negative messages. Actually, I haven't gotten probably any at all. But I wanted to discuss to you guys what I'm accustomed to doing, okay? You know, I'm accustomed to muting myself, and I'm accustomed to worrying about what other people think or feel. That's just part of my nature, okay? Um, but I'm also, what goes along with that, with me, is, with what goes along with muting myself, I'm the type of person that stuff all my feelings. That means that if I'm sad, I run to my refrigerator. If I'm happy, I run to my refrigerator. If I'm frustrated or confused, I run to my refrigerator. If I'm irritated, I run to my refrigerator. And with this diet that I'm on, which is going to become a lifestyle change for me, and I'm adamant about it, I'm serious about it, I have to learn how to sometimes, if needed, not mute myself. If it's going to cause me to eat myself to death, I'm going to say it. If it's going to cause me to be stressed, have a heart attack, have a stroke, run to the refrigerator unnecessarily, then I would rather say it than to harm myself in that way. Now, am I going to say it to hurt people's feelings? No, because that's not part of my personality. Now, if I have to lay somebody out, I will. We already know that. That's already known. Will I try not to? Yes, of course I will. Will I at times say things and not mention names? Yes, I will. If it means for me to get it out, and if it means for me to feel better, and if it means for me not to have to stuff it, then I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to be able to be successful on changing the way I think and changing the behavior that I have and changing the fact that I run to the refrigerator for all of these reasons. I'm not going to do it anymore. No longer will I stuff myself and eat myself to death because I don't want to say something to somebody or because somebody hurt my feelings or because somebody threw a slur at me a long time ago. No longer will I do that. Um, I believe there's a, a way to handle things in all situations and I will try my best to handle all those situations in a, in, in a positive or in the appropriate way. But the thing is, is that we have to understand that the word appropriate is a perception. And that means that what I consider or define as appropriate, you may not. Point blank, what I'm saying is that I will, for now on, and, and this is only, this is not just on YouTube, because that's not even really the biggest issue I have. I'm just telling you guys, and this may also work for you guys, since I am this type of person, as far as to mute myself and to keep things to myself and, you know, not discuss something that, you know, when I've been hurt, I let people slide or whatever like that. I've done this for so long, and I know what the outcome is for me, and because I don't want to do that any longer, um, I'm just telling you that what I've done is because of that. Now, this is not a video to us explain myself. I'm just telling you because I'm I'm telling certain things because it this is a journey, and I am logging a journey. And we all come to a place where we discover certain things, whether that's about ourselves or others or whatever. And I'm learning myself in a lot of ways, you guys, in such a little time. And I know that this is a process. And along with weight loss, a lot of people don't know comes a mindset. 
there comes a mind change and it has to have it has to coincide with a weight loss the reason why is because if you don't work on the root of certain things that basically went along or coincided with the weight gain then you're going to wind up either with that mindset that you used to have or not being successful at it long term so with this weight loss and with my belly and my sides and my face and my shoulders shrinking with all of these things shrinking comes also a different mindset now I'm always going to remain being Kiana because see that's the thing when you really are true to yourself and you really know who you are that won't change I'm just changing certain things that was harmful to me certain behaviors that was harmful for me see not only was it harmful for me to eat a bacon cheeseburger or not only was it harmful for me to rather than order 10 buffalo wings I ordered 20 not only was that harmful for me it's also behaviors that are harmful for me and with shrinking my stomach and shrinking my body I want to change the behavior that got my belt belly and my body to this way so I'm, I'm sharing this with you guys because that's what I do I'm sharing this with you guys because maybe you want to look into some things that you may want to change and also keep in mind in case you don't know that you have to start working on yourself besides working on your body so many of us worry about our bodies and we don't worry about our hearts we don't worry about our minds we don't worry about our our souls and we so much because the society worries so much about our bodies we worry about if we are shaped a certain way we worry about if we are a certain height we worry about if we you know have certain measurements we worry about that so much that our souls are voided our souls have this big gaping void in it our hearts have this big gaping hole in it our minds are destroyed and are constantly being destroyed and I want to work on the things that are affecting those things and I believe in working on those then the outward appearance the my body my vessel will reflect the positive energy and reflect the change that I'm doing internally so um, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about back to the sum of our feet and I will be doing the coupon matchup but I'm gonna wait until later on the sale starts tomorrow so I will have it done for y'all tonight <laughs> I love you all so much um, you know a lot of people you know went to people's cages and you know said that I was talking about them and all that kind of stuff and the reality is to be honest with you that's why a lot of comments I didn't answer I'm talking about several people in that video that I did about people living in the fantasy world that's what people don't understand because the person that they think I'm talking about it actually isn't that person and I've talked to that person for an hour or two yesterday so it seems like people are thinking that about people because if I didn't say any names why would you assume that it's about a certain person you already think that about that person that's why you made that assumption so it, it trips me out that it trips me out that people if you don't say a name they bash you or they go on other people's pages and bash you and say that you're not their friend and all that kind of stuff but if you didn't say a name how would they come to conclusion that you're talking about them if that's not what they think about you in the first place like, do they really think I'm that stupid? That I didn't know that? And people have to realize. Like I said in the video. It comes out. And the fact that you're thinking that way about the person is clear every time you make a comment about it. Because I sure didn't mention any names. And to be honest, I will tell you this. 
mainly that video was about a chick that while I was going through my separation with Chuck was all down for me. She was down for me for months. Oh, from the beginning. And as soon as I and you can go back in the videos and look when I said that I was going back with him she abandoned me. Ain't never left a message since then. She said some negative stuff and ain't never leave a message since then. That's what I was talking about in that video. And a coupon and shit. I was talking about her too. So, it was totally off by what most people were saying. Or thinking I'm talking about. So the fact is, some of the very same people, most people thought I was talking about, is actually my friend. So, again, I just wanted you guys to know what I'm going through as far as the process of me getting my body together and getting my mind together. And that's all. And if you want to embark on this journey with me together, we can do this, but it's also other things besides our bodies we need to worry about. So, I love you all so much. I'll be doing a coupon matchup video. And if you didn't see my body shot for this week, make sure you go check that video out and then go back and check the week ago video and then the, the first video I did with body shot. Basically, check out it's three videos all together, including today. Videos that say body shot. Check all those out so you can see the process. And it's only 15, 14 days, y'all. And I wasn't going to tell you guys the amount, but I will tell you now. 14 days on Atkins, I've lost 15 pounds. So, that's a little carb diet for you. Who said it doesn't work? Or who said it's so negative? Or who said low cal is so much better? How much have you lost in two weeks? <laughs> Alright, you guys. Love you all. Be blessed.